In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple applique yourself. No need to pay expensive fees to have someone else do it for you when you can do it yourself. So in this video, I'll show you how simple and easy it is to take your own designs from your head and put them on your favorite project. All that's coming up next on Sewing with Nyler. is going to be about how to make a simple applique for like a quilt or for any other project that you would like to put an applique on. I recently had a question about how I was able to do this particular applique with the baby's name, the elephants, and the balloons. So to show you how to do that simple applique, there's a few things we're going to need. And what we have is just some simple uh, cotton fabric. I have some cotton batting. And my favorite, which is, I hope the camera shows this, but it is Pelon and it's Wonder Under. It's my favorite um, applique medium because it, it, it just does wonders. I've been using Pelon for probably 20 years. And I just swear by it. It's the only thing I'll use. So I recommend that. And I'll send you a link down below where you can get it. So I have that. And then I have just a little simple applique to show you how it's done. So to get started, I'm going to take a piece of the Pellon. And I'm just going to take my cotton fabric. And I'm just going to lay it on top of the um, Pellon. And I'm just going to cut it out. And you may notice that I'm leaving... A little edge on each side because this stuff is terrible if it gets on your iron or your ironing board so you don't want it on there so I left a little bit on the edge so that way when I cut it I can cut it right to the edge now as you can see I have the Pellon on the fabric but as you notice you can see the fabric all the way around and that's what you want so you're going to go ahead and iron this down according to the manufacturer's instructions i like to do about 15 to 20 seconds move the iron 15 to 20 seconds and so on until you get it all down so i've ironed my pelon down i've ironed it down and i wanted to give you an idea of what it looks like once it's ironed down so i peeled it back a little bit and i hope the camera is getting this but you can see that it leaves a glue residue on the back side. And when you feel it, it's not sticky. It just feels, you know, a little rough, but not sticky at all. And then this is the paper. But that's what you want. You want to iron it down so that all the glue from the paper ends up on your fabric. So that's what we want to do on this. And we only do it on one piece. So now here is my... Um, pattern that I'm using. So now this can be do, done one of two ways. So I'm going to flip it over on the wrong side. You want to be working on the side where the paper is. So here are my letters and I'm going to turn them over. I can still see my letters on the wrong side. The reason you're flipping them is because once you draw them out and you cut them out, you're going to be taking this and putting it down this way. So you want to make sure your letters are not flipped on the wrong side. So now there's a couple of ways you can do this. One way that I like is using a Sharpie or a nice permanent marker that, you know, will bleed through. And I will go through and I will just outline my letter. And let's see. And in this case, it did not. So you may find that to be the case. It may or may not bleed through. No problem. So my next favorite way is to take a pen. Now, what I'm going to do with this pen is I'm going to draw hard enough that when I draw through this paper, it's going to transfer to the paper on the underside, which will transfer to the wonder under. Now, to double check that, we're going to lift it. And as you can see, you can start seeing some lines coming through. Okay, so I've traced it through. And as you can see, here are the results. Now, when I trace the eye out, I want you to see, I hope the camera picks this up. 
you don't see any lines as far as ink goes but if you look close enough you'll see the indention marks and all I have to do now is simply trace out the indention marks that were made here so those are my letters so what I'm going to do now is you want to go ahead and get your good pair of scissors I have a good pair of embroidery scissors and I'm going to go ahead and just cut out the, um, the letters so now we have our letters we have our H and we have our I so since my letters are done I just chose a little scrap piece of fabric that has a little hint of the turquoise in the background and I'm going to put these letters on here to say hi so to start with what you want to do is you got to get the paper off the backing now my favorite way of getting the paper off the backing is using a straight pen I scratch the straight pen until I scratch the paper as you can see the paper is scratched and it's peeling so once it scratches then you can just peel it off and just peel all the paper off and it should peel off if you ironed it down correctly it should peel off easily so now we'll put the eye down okay and like I said you're just gonna be nice and perfect because mine is not I freehand my letters and they don't even look anything like they should look but what you're going to do now is you're going to go to the iron and you're going to iron them down the exact same way you iron the Pellon Wonder Under onto the fabric itself. The same way you did this, how you iron this down, you're going to iron it down the same way on top. So I'll come back and show you what that looks like after it's ironed down. So I've ironed down my letters HI and as you can see they're pretty ironed down. If you look on the back, you can almost see the glue, the imprint of the glue that lets you know it is really down, really, really good. So now it's ready for applique. So that's where your background fabric or your other fabric comes in. So you could use your other fabric to put underneath. But what I like to do is I like to put a piece of batting in between. And then on the batting, I will put this layer. So if this was a quilt, this will be your quilt top then of course your batting and your quilt backing and of course you want to pin this in place so now you can use a zigzag stitch you can use um, any decorative stitch that you have on your machine I am using a blanket stitch which is the stitch that does the ends of a buttonhole so I always start on the fabric and bounce off so I'm just going to sew back and forth So now that it's been embroidered, as you can see, um, you can see the contrast around the letters, uh, the nice indention. I did it in a contrast thread so that you could see. And when you flip it over, you can really see how we embroidered it and it looks really nice. So that's how simple and easy it is to make an applique. You can do this with letters or images of any sort that you have. It doesn't have to be just letters. So that's how simple and easy it is to do. So I hope that this has been helpful and I hope that you try it. Happy sewing!